in this video I'm literally going to um, you know I'm not going to leave anything out I'm not going to pause the video or anything like that okay well I'm going to try not to um, I'm just going to show you everything I'm going to find a keyword live and on top of it I've decided I'm going to try and find a keyword in the um, in the weight loss market okay one of the most competitive markets well basically the most competitive market on Clickbank on the internet is the weight loss market okay so I've picked a weight loss product to promote and now I'm going to go ahead and try and find some keywords okay now I'm not going to be targeting the product keywords in this video so I'm not going to target the name of the product which is um, fat loss for idiots okay I'm not going to target that name we're actually going to look for a, for a real keyword remember that if you're targeting a product name if you're using that approach if you've seen that in the manual already, if not, you will see it soon. Um, that that doesn't really require any keyword research at all. Okay, so that's quite a cool method. That's perhaps how I recommend you make your first site. But first of all, let's get started. Okay, so we're here at Google, and what we're going to do is we're going to go and head over to our free tool. Okay, and this is a free tool provided by Google. I'm sure you've heard of. Um, it's a really great tool, and that is the Google keyword tool okay now Google provides a lot of really cool tools provides site tracking tools and things like that and this is one of my favorites okay so you just search keyword tool in Google and we're gonna go ahead and go to the Google keyword tool now and basically I'm going to show you how to use it okay um, so the first thing is we're going to start off with a root keyword okay now this is the keyword that you start your search with you can be as imaginative as you want um, and I suggest starting with just the most basic keyword you can, the first thing you think of. Okay, um, so I'm just going to type in weight loss, lose weight. Okay, um, now the important thing to remember is that the majority of most people are going to type in um, weight loss into, so if someone was looking to lose weight, you know, they're going to type in lose weight, they're not actually going to type in weight loss. Okay. Um, so bear that in mind, but also bear in mind that this is the most basic keyword. We'll probably find more more applicable keywords to us because we're looking for keywords with such little competition. Okay, um, they would probably we'd probably see a lot more results if we started with something like um, uh, I don't know how to lose belly fat or something like that. Okay, that is more likely because we're looking for keywords that have very low competition here. Okay, but we'll go on about that in a minute. So first of all, we're going to start off with a root keyword. So I'm just going to start off with the most basic one. Okay, um, lose weight. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to click in advanced options. Okay, and we're not going to click uh, United Kingdom. Okay, which is where I'm from. We're going to click all countries. We're going to have language, English. Um, show ideas and statistics for desktop and laptop devices. Okay, we do not want mobile phones, you know, mobile phones might be good for some things, but they're not good for, you know, ultimately someone selling a product, no one's going to buy a product while they're on their phone, okay, um, local monthly searches, we want to click global monthly searches, okay, and we're going to add in a filter straight away, okay, if we don't add in a, we're going to add in a filter, I recommend 3,000 searches per month, but sometimes you'll get some, you know, just a little bit lower than 3,000, okay, so we're going to put in 2,000 searches per month as the minimum. Okay, then we're just going to enter the CAPTCHA here. It's very simple. I'm just going to press search, and basically it's gone out and found a whole bunch of keywords for us. Okay, now the next thing we're going to do is we are going to over here we are going to deselect, we're going to select phrase. Okay, now this is very important that you do this. Okay, if you don't select it, you're going to find a heck of a lot more keywords, but um, it, 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 this is the most important thing out of everything I've showed you so far. And if you forget to do this, you might build a sniper site and you'll end up getting no traffic. Okay, now it's a very long winded explanation of what these actually do, but essentially, um, if I click phrase here, okay, and make sure when you click phrase that you then deselect broad. Okay, so that you only get the phrase match keywords. Okay, now basically what this means is if we hadn't selected phrase, so now we see the actual search results for lose weight. Okay, now you would have thought you should have seen this automatically with broad, but you don't. So you see this is lose weight right now. If someone types in 
this is presumably right. Google isn't always right. I mean, I'm going to say that first of all. You'd be surprised. You thought they own the company. They know the searches. But this data isn't always accurate. Okay, more on that in the manual. Um, but so let's take this phrase, lose weight. Okay, now I'm really educating you on the whole process here. So you'd think um, that with even with the broad maps that basically if it says, well, first of all, watch this. So if we click broad, you see it gets a lot more searches, right? A lot more searches, like a million more searches, okay? And you'd think that that is 3,350,000 people every month type in lose weight into Google. That is the key word they type in into Google. So if they went to Google, they would type in lose weight. But that is not the case. Okay, that is not the case at all. Because it's broad match, what it means is the phrases don't have, the words don't actually have to be together. And more than that, they don't have to, they don't have to be together. They can be there can be any number of words in between them, after them, before them. So basically with broad match it's actually including this keyword, this keyword, this keyword this keyword, this keyword, this keyword, this keyword. The only requirement is that the, the, is that the keyword has the term lose weight in it someplace or lose and weight separately. And that is, of course, not what we want, okay? Because if we're thinking, oh, we're going to get 30, if we rank for this keyword, we're going to get this many searches, we're going to get this many visitors per month, because you will rank for this one. You won't rank for this one, this one, this one, and this one. We're only rank ranking for one here. Okay, that is absolutely essential. It's really important because you want to know how many, you know, searches your specific keyword is getting. Because remember, we're mainly targeting one. This is the same with any site. Okay, no one should ever use broad match. Basically, when a lot of people are doing pay per click, they generally do not do broad match. Okay, they generally use phrase or even exact. Now, the reason we're not using exact. Is because um, often often will rank for um, keywords that have phrase anyway. Okay, that have the phrase variation. They may have a word before and after, but we'll probably still rank for that. Okay, so the best one is phrase. So we go ahead and click phrase. Here we go. You see, it's now got quotes around it, and you'll see the searches of that now. Okay, they're a lot lower, and this is a much more accurate way of doing things. Okay, so here we go. Now we've got a whole bunch of keywords here. Um, now, well, the, the baby, baby, essentially, show rows 100, so we're going to have 100 keywords per page, which is the maximum allowed by Google. You can't just keep browsing, browsing, and browsing and get a million ideas, unfortunately. Okay, so we've got a whole bunch of keywords here. Now, with Google Sniper Sites, we're going to be targeting the long tail keywords. Okay, so we're not going to be targeting lose weight. There's just absolutely no way we're going to rank for that in a million years. Okay, it'd take you about three years to rank number one for a keyword like that, and a massive team of people backlinking. Okay, we're ranking for keywords that have sort of four words, three or four words. Okay, maybe even more. So, if I was looking at all of these, um, and remember, all of these keywords meet our criteria. They're all over two thousand. You know, hopefully closer to three thousand or above. Um, so yeah, we're not going to rank for keywords like that have two words in it. That's just rarely going to happen. The other thing is, is just be intelligent. You're going to save yourself a lot of time by, you know, if you see a keyword that's got 550,000 monthly searches, the likelihood is a lot of marketers have already seen that, and you know, it's going to have way too much competition for us. Okay, so don't worry about it. By the way, this competition tab here, <clears throat> don't worry about that. That is to do with uh, pay per click. Okay, that's not actually to do with us at all. So just totally ignore that. The only thing that we're concerned with, don't concern about local monthly searches, just global monthly searches and kind of with the trends. Okay, you want to pick a, a keyword that's not, you know, going down too much. So for example, you wouldn't want to pick need to lose weight because as you can see, it's uh, basically been declining quite heavily. Okay, and um, you want to pick a keyword like this, which is, um, you know, just sort of um, the same all the way through. Okay. Um, now a lot of info here guys, I know this is why you may need to watch this video, but it's very important that you understand all this stuff, okay? And this is going to be a practical video as well. Um, okay, so, you know, don't go for the keywords that look absolutely crazy. You know, sometimes you might, you know, once in a blue moon find a keyword that's got like 20,000 searches a month and, and we can compete, but it's very rare, okay? And I mean, I love those days, um, but often it's not going to happen, okay? <clears throat> 
So look for keywords. The best luck you have finding keywords and saving yourself time is looking for keywords that have around the 2,000 to sort of 5,000 mark of searches. Okay, and also long tail. So we're looking for unusual keywords over here is what we're actually looking for. Okay, um, <clears throat> so easy ways to lose weight. I mean that's a little more unusual. We're getting there. I mean just for fun. All you do, by the way, now show you the next stage. Um, so let's say we wanted to pick this keyword. I mean I don't think we'll rank for this. We'll be able to rank, but we can just check it out for fun. Um, <clears throat> you know I think this is going to be very competitive. Um, but so it meets our criteria here definitely it's got you know four times three thousand so it definitely meets that the trends look good um, and basically <clears throat> now the next part we're going to do is called the sniff test there's two parts to deciding if you're going to be able to rank for a keyword or not with your sniper site okay now these aren't totally accurate but they're a pretty good way of doing things the first thing is the sniff test okay now the sniff test is it's not bad way of doing things, you, know, you can get a good idea for the keyword, but then it's always recommended to do the next stage as well, which is where you actually go in and look in depth at the uh, the quality of the competition that you're going to be competing with. Okay, now These are explained in the manual. So if we go ahead and do the first part of it, just click on this, it's going to take us to Google. Okay, Now it's going to display the keyword here in the search result. Now what we need to do is you can see the competitors here, but these aren't real competitors, these could be anything. Okay. So we don't want that. What we want to do is we want to add in phrase marks to each side of the keyword like this. This is going to show us the real number of competitors for our sites. Now, so anything that has a this number, okay, so we can see eighty five thousand. This is way out of our league and I'm not even going to bother with it. Okay, you see, it's not even close to thirteen thousand. As long as it's close, you know, anywhere up to sort of 20,000, it's possible you may be able to rank and you might want to check it out more, okay? But the lower, the better, obviously, okay? So this has got 85,000, that's way too high, this needs to be ideally 13,000 or less, okay? So that's the first sniff test, it's seeing how many competitors they have. Now, what this essentially means is there's 85,000 websites that have this exact phrase on it somewhere on the site, basically, okay? So that's not going to work, that keyword. We're going to go back to Google and I'm going to start doing this faster in a minute. Okay, So now we're looking for keywords and the sniff test. We're looking for more unusual keywords. Now obviously you get a lot of keywords here that are just ridiculous, the amount of searches. So what you can do is you can add another search filter here. You see I've clicked add another and we're going to make it no more. Obviously you are limiting yourself slightly, but I mean it's fine, you know, obviously you're really rarely going to find, especially in a market like weight loss, you know, a keyword that has that kind of volume, no competition, okay. 2,000 to 8,000 we're going to put in, and as you can see these are much more the kind of keywords I was talking about, that we're going to have much more, um, <clears throat> a much better likelihood of ranking for, okay. So if we go through them here. Uh, losing weight quickly. Start going faster now. 54,000 results. Nope. Okay. This takes a while, by the way, guys. This is the most time consuming part of a sniper site. How to lose weight naturally. Certainly check that one out. 208,000. That's even worse. Okay, so you never know what you're going to find. Um, and basically, obviously weight loss is the most competitive market there is. So I've picked this one just to show you, okay, but, you know, often in the market you might choose, it might be a lot easier, okay. Um, walking to lose weight, now that, you know, this could be, sounds a little bit more less competitive, 25,000, okay, so we're getting closer, that's 25,000. 6,000 searches a month, trends are good, don't worry about the trends too much, okay, just just ideally it's not going completely down, you know, anything anything other than that is fine, um, but, you know, yeah, don't worry about the trends too much, okay, so 25,000, we're definitely getting closer, okay, um, pills to lose weight, no, that's going to be very competitive, tips to lose weight fast, that one 
200,000. <laughs> okay. Let's keep looking. Healthy way to lose weight. Let's check that one out. 51,000 results. No. Um, I need to lose weight fast. Let's check that one out. 111,000. This is a very competitive market, obviously. Lose weight without that. Now we're going to start looking for something that's a little bit more obscure. Maybe how to foods that help you lose weight. But still, I imagine this is going to be no. how to lose weight in your thighs. It's a bit more specific, a bit more unusual. 15,000. Okay, here we go. So we've got a key word here. It's slightly over 13,000, but still, I'd probably check it out. Especially because, where is it here? Trends are good, and it's got 5,000 searches a month. So it's 5,400, so it's way over our 3,000 limit. This potentially means you're almost going to make twice as much money from your sniper site. Okay, at this point, a crude way of telling how much you're going to make is how many visitors you're potentially going to get a month, okay? This is what this means. How many visitors we're going to get to our sniper site a month. Okay, now we're not going to get all of these visitors, okay? Um, but, you know, it's a good indicator. Um, okay, so we found a keyword here, 15,000, and, uh, you know, actually I'm not going to... Um, well, we'll explore into this one a bit more. Okay, so the next stage is the second stage, and this is the more difficult stage of it. This is one that's going to require a lot of um, looking around. So the first stage is very simple. You go to the keyword tool, you put in, just to recap, put in your keyword here, you enter all the phrases, select phrase, put in some filters, and just try all these keywords here to do with your niche. Just type them in and you see, and see what the results are. Now the next stage, we're going to remove, once you've found a keyword that meets the first criteria, we're going to move, remove the quotes okay, and see what our real competitors are. Now the reason we remove the quotes is because we're not competing, because we want to see, essentially you're competing with these websites here. You're competing with these websites on the first page. Now the other ones, you know, the, the, the 1 million other sites or the 15,000 other actual sites, you're not really competing with, okay, you're just competing with these ones. So these are the ones we want to look more closely into if we're going to be able to compete for that keyword. Now instantly, um, I can tell you that it kind of looks okay, but kind of bad. Um, ehow.com, you know, obviously a very big site. It's going to be very difficult to outrank in many cases, okay. Um, but it's not too bad. I mean, it's not like, you know, Wikipedia or something like that. If you ever see Wikipedia on the first page, you know, CNN, anything like that, you, you know, you're just screwed. Okay, so don't even bother with that. Um, so this is it's possible. E how you never really know. Um, and the second E how easy in articles, and this is always a very positive thing to see, is an article. If an article's there, it means you can probably rank near it as well. I kind of used to think differently about articles, but I've changed my opinion lately. Um, and generally, you can rank there. Okay, now the, the tough thing is that you never quite know with an article either, because, um, you know, they get a lot of backlinks and things like that. You get a lot of people, um, you know, that are very good article marketers and things like that, and, and build, you know, thousands of links to it. So you, it's, it's certainly difficult to tell. Um, wiki answers see the bad thing about this keyword is obviously that all of these sites are brand names which is one thing to look for as a bad sign okay, now if you recognize the brand names here anncollins.com and you know things like that um, or maybe not this isn't a brand name but um, sounded like one <laughs> I'm not really an expert on, on the subject of weight loss um, realwomensfitness.com wiki answers you know a lot of these are brand names they're authority sites and it's going to be difficult to outrank them 
Okay, now an authority site, to actually give you an example, is something like this, where you've got all of these different pages, all on different subjects, all different articles. I mean, there's just probably thousands here, okay? And it's likely that this website is ranking for, you know, just about every, you know, keyword going, okay? So you just got to be careful. So this doesn't look like, on closer inspection, a good keyword because we're seeing um, what we were looking for is we're looking for foreign posts, we're looking for websites that you've never heard of, we're looking for that kind of thing, okay? This looks like a difficult one. Um, it's possible we could rank for it, but honestly, you know, I think it's always better to spend another, you know, half an hour looking for keywords than risk an entire sniper site. Okay, because you will find ones that will be a lot less competitive. Okay, so close that. Um, what else have we got here? Food to lose weight is the best way to lose weight. Um, you know, there's a few ones here, but I know. But I think what we're going to do, what I'm going to do, oh, here we go, losing weight after pregnancy. Let's check that one out. It's a bit unusual. So, I mean, we found one keyword that was kind of there, kind of not. Losing weight after pregnancy. No, 23,000. How to lose weight in your thighs. Where was that? How to lose weight at home? Maybe. Maybe very competitive, I don't know. 51,000. Nope. Um, how to lose weight fast with exercise. How to lose weight fast without exercise. <laughs> That's a funny one, look. So, with exercise, get 3,600. Without exercise, there's a lot more people that are more interested in that, and that's no surprise. <laughs> okay, how to lose weight without exercise? 51,000. Okay, nope. Um, Alright, well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Let's check this one out here. Is I'm going to enter in, I think, a different root keyword. See what we find. Um, I'm just going to change it up a little bit. So if we scroll up, something you'll have to do. Instead of lose weight, um, what's another word for weight? Fat. Fat is another keyword people search for a lot. So how about lose fat? That's uh, once again, this isn't a load of detail going into on this one. You know, lose fat quickly might be a better one. The purpose of this, we're just putting lose fat. Let's see what we find. I mean, as you do this more, you get a better idea of what might work better. So, you know, for me, I might just type in, you know, um, like I put in earlier, you know, how to lose belly fat or something like that. And I'm probably going to find a lot more uh, keywords for us. Okay. Um, but for the purpose of this demonstration, I'm just making it as hard as possible for myself to show you, you know, like the worst case scenario. <laughs> okay. Um, so here we go. We've still got our filters up. We've got a load of keywords here. Um, let's see what we find. So lose fat, gain muscle. I mean, this is probably going to be way too competitive, but we can check it out. 31,000 results. Nope. Um, how to lose fat fast. Never know. Could work. 190,000 results. Absolutely not. Um, lose body fat fast, maybe. It's an interesting one. Specific areas of the body and weight loss are always good to target. I guess this one isn't though. 186,000. Um, so we've got here. Lose leg fat. Let's try that. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. Well, here's one. Uh, Eleven thousand two hundred results. Perfect. Let's just have a look again. Like that. Yeah. Okay. So we've got a keyword here. With um, here we go. Here's a sniper keyword potentially. Okay. It's met the sniff test anyway. So we've got 11,200 results 
that's below our uh, 13,000 criteria I mean that is fine absolutely fine um, what else have we got where is it here we've got 5,400 searches per month and that's excellent you know it's almost double the 3,000 criteria so over double the 2,000 criteria mark trends look good you know like I said don't worry too much about the trends but it's just important okay now this keyword looks like there's a lot here that we could rank for best way to lose belly fat all of these look long tail tummy fat probably work quite well for how to lose arm fat you know there's all of these which are probably work you know pretty well actually this looks like a good keyword it's probably a lot here okay but let's just stick with this one for now all right so we found potentially a sniper keyword it's to do with weight loss essentially what we do is we would spin our sniper site a little bit more towards legs um, you know just to answer their queries first of all and then we just recommend them the same weight loss guide and we'd be absolutely fine okay in terms of conversions um, so it meets the sniff test 11,000 results it meets every test so far let's actually check it out in the rankings and see who we're competing with okay well immediately this seems like a, um, a much better keyword um, you know we don't see a big brand name at the top we're seeing how to lose weight fast.com loose fat leg info sniper site we're seeing there I mean not a I don't know if this is actually someone that's read Google sniper or not we can have a look at that now um, let's wait for it to load okay um, no, this isn't a sniper site, but it's similar. Okay, this is similar to a sniper site, similar characteristics. He's got the keyword in the domain name, he's got the keyword in the blog title. If he's ranking, it's likely we can. So that's very good news, and it's likely we can outrank this guy. Okay, he's got a YouTube video. Okay, this is pretty sniper. This is quite possibly someone that's read the original sniper and just modified it a bit. Okay. So there's a sniper site right there ranking at number three. There's a perfect keyword. Okay, number five we're seeing easy articles, like I said, which is usually pretty good. I mean, not always, but generally a pretty good keyword. We're seeing wiki answers here. Now wiki answers is um, it's tricky. I mean, it doesn't really mean anything to be honest. But Yahoo answers that's good. That's what we want to see. Yahoo answers you'll always outrank, or nearly always. Okay in my experience. Answers.com it's a little bit more tricky but would probably be fine. Um, well this looks like a really good keyword. Here we've got fatlossblog.net. Let's check that one out. Okay this is just a blog, you know, a few different posts here on, on weight loss, nothing too amazing. Recommending a click mount prop, burn the fat, feed the muscle, a very famous one. Um, the, yeah, okay. Never converted that well for me this product though, so I wouldn't promote that one if I were you. Um, it's just my personal opinion, my personal experiences with it. Okay, and um, that particular ClickBank product was I tried on a couple of sites. Hub pages always good to see. Yahoo Answers, like I said, good. Buzzle, I mean, yeah, yeah definitely. Um, let's check out this one. Let's check out our number one competitor. Okay, well, yeah. as you can see, this is just an AdSense site. Okay, now it's probably got a lot of articles. This site, as I can see, but still, it's just an SEO site. The Squeeze page, AdSense. You know, probably might have a load of backlinks, but you know, it's it's probable we might add rents as well. This is exactly the kind of keywords you want to find right here. Okay, um, so here we go. We found a sniper keyword. You know, I don't know how long this this video has lasted now. I've shown you absolutely everything I've walked you through um, and basically if you didn't find a keyword yet you just keep doing this until you found one that matched okay um, so we've gone from nothing and we found a sniper keyword basically now I would go ahead and now build a sniper site around this keyword I'd go ahead and register a domain etc um, and, and, and we'd be off and away now to give you a little bit more information on on what keywords you can rank for and what keywords you can't. Um, let's just keep looking for, for some other sites. Some other sites you're going to want to avoid. One is Wikipedia. If you see that Wikipedia, you won't rank for it. 
Accurate word is probably very competitive. You see Wiki How, unlikely you're going to outrank it. Uh, if you see stuff like About, um, it's, it's hard to outrank as well. About is the, is the website that looks like this. It's got kind of a red thing going on. Um, just you view have seen it a lot of times. Here's About. Um, if you see stuff like uh, YouTube videos, so let's say we search six pack, maybe this might bring up some YouTube results. Okay, interesting. <laughs> videos for six pack, this has brought up a load of YouTube results. Now, seeing these does not mean you're going to rank for it at all. Seeing YouTube results doesn't really mean anything, okay? Um, so don't get excited if you see a load of videos ranking for a keyword. Okay, now obviously this is just a keyword you'd never rank for. WikiHow, look exactly. IDMB, which is obviously IMDB, sorry, um, which is obviously a massive movie website, Men's Health, massive men's magazine, you know, Wikipedia. Um, you know, this is exactly the kind of keyword you just never rank for, and you can clearly see that. Okay. Um, Whereas the other, you know, the keyword we found earlier, you know, you could clearly rank for. Okay, so there's just a few more guidelines. Now, the second guideline I want to mention is that it takes a while. Let's just get rid of those men there. <laughs> now, it takes a while to find keywords. That is without a doubt. Um, but you know, I it, it, it definitely be patient with it. Don't just settle for a keyword because you think you're going to rank. Keep looking. Make sure your first sniper site is a good one. Okay, look for that guaranteed win and you'll be fine. Also remember that this is, like I said, a learning process and it's more of an art than a science and there's more, more words later on this in a manual but this might take you a little bit to learn but as you get better and better and better you'll just be able to find loads of keywords and know exactly what you're going to rank for. So just to finish off with, I just want to show you one more strategy. I actually There's actually a lot of strategies uh, for finding keywords however I just want to show you one more that I think uh, is potentially a really powerful one and kind of a, a new a new one um, and can really help you uncover some hidden gold mines and then once again it's free which is really cool okay so basically what you want to do is you want to head over to you should already have an idea of the niche you want to go into okay so we're going to head over to Google and we're going to type in SEM rush okay that's the website we're going to use and we're going to go over and click on this now there's a paid version of this but we don't need to pay it we're just going to use the basic free version and that's going to more than get the job done for us which is great um, and what we're going to do is you're going to take a competitor okay so you're going to take a competing website that means um, you know if, if, if your keyword was you know how to lose weight fast in that top 10 results on Google like we just went through you're going to take one of the people off there if or all of them one at a time is actually a very good strategy all off there one at a time and put them in to this tool right here and you're going to actually find out some very very interesting information okay now for example I've chose this so my keyword was how to lose the last 10 pounds fast okay and this was actually a keyword recently um, I've been looking I was looking at targeting for a sniper site okay and basically this is an article here it's on womenshealth.com which is you know a pretty big authority site by, uh, by all stretches of the imagination and this actually technique works better if you use it with if you put in a sniper site into SEM rush or another similar website of that caliber with an authority site it doesn't work quite as well um, or it works in a different way it doesn't work quite as well because um, because th this this website's got a lot more weight behind it you know so it could easily rank a lot better than your site whereas if you look at, at sort of newer sort of more individual sites like the one you're going to be creating with your sniper site and you see that this website is ranking for other keywords you're going to know you're going to be able to target them but th this will make sense in a second so anyway all we need to do is go up to the URL copy that 
then head over to SEMrush, so this is the actual URL of the website, of the actual post, whatever's ranking in Google, that's what you need to put in there. Okay, so we've got the complete thing here, really easy. I'm just going to press search. <clears throat> All right. And once we press search, we're going to get a whole bunch of interesting information here. But to start with, we're getting some very, very interesting information. Okay, so the 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 uh, the uh, the phrase I was targeting was how to lose the last ten pounds. Okay, so and you can see it's in position three for that keyword. So if you went to Google, it would be the third one down. Okay, now you don't need to pay attention to the volume and everything like that. We've already kind of been through that, as you know. Um, but you do need to pay attention to the key, to the other keywords that this is ranking for because this can actually help you. It's pretty cool. I'm sure you can start to see the magic here. Identify other keywords you could easily rank for. So, for example, if this is ranked also for losing the last ten pounds and it's ranked for, you know, it's it's worth considering that you could target that keyword as well, you know, and then you can click on that and you can go into more information about that keyword, etc, etc. And, <clears throat> and so you see right here, from originally from the, from the keywords Google came up with, we've potentially already came up with a bunch of others. And moreover, we've not only came up with a bunch of others, but we can see how well this website's ranking in those. So if we see that this website isn't ranking that well for how to lose 15 pounds in a month for example it's possible it's quite a competitive keyword okay now you can use some of these figures actually to kind of help you decipher how competitive it's going to be for example um, you know this one which is two dollars and sixty seven cents so what this means if someone was paying for traffic that's how much they would potentially be paying two dollars and sixty seven cents lose ten pounds fast okay whereas this one weight plateau Okay, you know, it's kind of just zero, which means people aren't really paying for that. So maybe it's not the greatest keyword, but it's also probably going to be a lot less competitive than this one, which is more closely obviously associated to commercial activity or that results in people buying, which is why people are prepared to pay for those clicks and those visitors. Okay, so what you can do is you can actually type in loads of the URLs of loads of different websites for a bunch of the keywords you're considering or maybe even you know this would lead you somewhere new so now instead of this being my main keyword how to lose the last 10 pounds how to lose 15 pounds fast that could become a new keyword that I would go and investigate and then from there put some in here and this is a really good way to kind of utilize what other sites are doing to kind of identify opportunities uh, within the marketplace which I think is pretty cool um, so I recommend that you go and do this as well and certainly check out your competitors just to get an idea even if it's not to be even if you've already found your keyword which quite possibly you have you can use these keywords later on when you're either bulletproofing your site or adding in more content or LSI keywords which we'll talk about later on okay but it's a really powerful technique to help you identify some holes in the market um, so thanks for watching, head back to the manual now, we'll find your keyword first, then head back to the manual, and I'll see you in the next video.